The Fretlight Improviser software is the best tool for improvising lead guitar over a variety of progressions, as well as auditioning new scales and new chord inversions. So let's get started. Okay, you've launched the Fretlight Improviser and you're looking at the screen. Let's start in the upper left. This is where you open a file. Click the button and you'll see a window pop up. This is where you select a progression from the built-in progression list. There's over 120 progressions in many styles to choose from. For this example, let's select Country Rock 1. Across from that selection is where you can select which scale to use. Improviser automatically picks a few scales that will work with the progression you've chosen and it's in the correct key so you're ready to jam. Click the button that has a P on it for pattern and you can cycle through the selections. You'll see there is a chord tone selection as well. You can use this to practice the rhythm part of the progression you've chosen. A great way to practice moving through and using different chord inversions up and down the neck. For our example here, we've selected the major blues scale. At this point, you can hit the play button and start jamming. You can always change the tempo by dragging the slider to the desired tempo. Change the key by clicking on a new key and improviser will automatically change the scale to that key, which is displayed on your fret line. The four buttons on the right control how the scale is displayed on your fret light. Let's go through them. The R button is to blink the root notes on any scale or chord tones pattern that is displayed on your fret light. A great way to resolve leads and fills. Next, the auto button is to set the scale to automatically cycle through the individual box patterns in the scale. You can change how often the box patterns change in the preferences menu up here. Just open up that window and you'll see you can change it to any measure or you can make a change to the song. The next button down is the show all button. That's going to show the entire scale pattern on the neck like we see here. The last button in the group allows you to manually cycle through the scale box patterns for the particular scale selected and choose the one you want displayed on your fret light so you can really focus in that area of the neck. That's a quick look at the Fretlight Improviser.